that one doesn't open it. We'll leave it like that for now. Watch your stuff. Behind these gates, darkness sets in. The Eureka Valley Muni station underneath Market Street is right between the Castro and Forest Hill stations. But wait, I know what you're thinking. There is no station between Castro and Forest Hill. Where is it? <laughs> I would like to use it if it exists. Well, it does exist, but it's a ghost station. This is uh, remains a live and very critical asset to the safe operation of the system. SFMTA oh. Director of Transit John Haley gave me a tour of the old station platform, making sure I had a neon vest and a flashlight before going underground. It's um, essential that you know what we're walking into. Any maintenance crew gets a full safety briefing before they start work. Eureka Valley was an active train stop starting around World War I, all the way until the 70s. That's when the Market Street subway system was built. And with the Castro station about a football field away, there was no longer a need for trains to stop here at Eureka Valley. But even now, 46 years later, trains pass through this station every day. I don't even pay attention to it, I guess. Um, Interesting, I'll look next time. Though you can't get to the platform, the station is neither useless nor abandoned. SFMTA still uses it. On a almost nightly basis, multiple times a week, our maintenance crews, the people that take care of the track, the people that take care of the electric overhead wire. Because they only have a few hours each night when trains aren't running, crews use this quick access to the Twin Peaks tunnel. Otherwise, they'd have to enter from another station and waste precious time traveling deeper into the tunnel. So aside from maintenance workers doing their job and an occasional curious reporter here and there, we wanted to know who else gets to come down to the depths of this ghost station. Nobody belongs down here unless you have a um, permission from our uh, track, from our operating control center to have what's called a track clearance. Not only is it dangerous, look how close these trains pass by, but it's also a historical monument of sorts that's special to Muni. So we cap this off. These kind of creepy stairs that seemingly lead to nowhere and this abandoned bench once filled with waiting passengers got my curiosity going. Is there anything supernatural down here? There are all kinds of uh, folklore and rumors about ghost stories here. Like, for example, right now, I think I heard um, weeping coming from the walls saying that even though uh, New England's in the Super Bowl again, uh, Joe Montana is still better than Tom Brady. I think I did hear that. Does that creep you out at all? No. no. I'm from San Francisco. I got tough skin here. They should put Halloween spooks in there. <laughs> yeah. Since these gates are kept locked from the outside, your only chance of catching a glimpse of Eureka Valley Station is to take a ride on the Muni train as you leave or approach the Castro Station. Better look quick or you'll miss it completely. In San Francisco, or rather under San Francisco, Spencer Blake, Cron 4 News.